Hello, beautiful people. So I just wanted to go over something that I found very helpful uh, for myself throughout the year as far as documenting and keeping track of our expenses for personal and business expenses, as well as making it much easier for our tax preparer. So um, this is not something that I did the whole year last year. However, I did start it in about uh, November of last year so that I could get a handle on things and I wouldn't have a whole lot of stress and anxiety when it did come time to prepare our taxes because I already have things, you know, pretty laid out. Um, and even though I have all of the paper receipts, um, I still went ahead and I documented all of those receipts. So what I'm going to show you is um, for my hubby and I, you know, I separated our columns here. And if we had anything, well, which we did for last year. So um, this is actually a fresh one that I am making um, for this year. But last year is already all filled out um, and has all of the costs like a cost number right next to it to keep track of how much that expense actually was. So this is actually for this year. Last year's I already have in here and it's saved, um, but I don't want to show that because it has a whole lot more detail and, um, and numbers on it. But like right here, for example, you just go in, you'd put your, um, how much you spent on legal services or whatnot for that year, how much you paid for tax prep um, this year, um, my husband had a 1099 last year. So, you know, his, his lodging uniforms, uh, food and everything, you know, um, would be able to be tax deductible or, you know, um, an expense concerning that 1099. So that's why I had that broken out here for him. So if your husband or you or anyone has a 1099, then you can go ahead and do, um, individual, deductions if you don't do the standard de deduction this is not tax advice i am not a tax preparer this is just something i am doing to make life simpler for me and my tax preparer so you know as far as deductions taking deductions not taking them this is not advice on that this is strictly just uh what i did to document our expenses and so he does have a truck so um, all of these expenses we wrote down because of the 1099, he would be able to take these deductions plus the fact that he also has another business of which the truck is utilized for. So we have his payments, inspection tires, registration, repairs, debt fluid, um, insurance, car washes, oil changes, the oil itself, um, oil filters, air filters, exhaust, medical payments, um, that he or we um, paid out of pocket and um, any charity or goodwill donations that we made and any contributions that uh, we made to the um, or his IRA. And then we did the same here for me. So everything pretty much mirrors each other, you know, unless one or the other has more medical um, bills or more things going on with the car or the truck as you can see he has a whole lot more going on with his vehicle than i have with mine so you would just break it out like that um to make sure you're doing things properly as far as each individual is concerned and then you have your medical co-pays etc here um uh any charity that I did, goodwill donations, any donations that I made to any, um, you know, spiritual, you know, uh, businesses or things of that nature, and also my IRA contributions there. So we also have three businesses going on. So this one right here is a sole proprietorship of which um, we run uh, our rents out of. So uh, as you can see here, we have a, a property that's a duplex and we have another property right here, which is property number two. So this is um, all of the stuff concerning um, the, the properties and things that we use. Um, I have Norton up here, but technically I should have Norton down here um, under all of the expenses as far as the office is concerned, because that is, you know, a software um you know that we use as far as keeping our, our office in order but um, i also have legal here for the second business i also have uh legal and the third legal anything that we may have had to have done uh, legally 
um, to get things done or in place. Um, I put that expense there. And I also did legal, as you can see up here, you see that. But yeah, you would just, like I said, you put how much each thing is you paid that year. And that way this helps you keep track. And in, also when you have your receipt, you just come to your Excel spreadsheet, come plug it in. That way everything's already on here in one handy dandy place for you and your tax preparer preparer or CPA and whatnot. Um, plus you, of course, keep your physical paper receipts if you have those or your digital receipt receipts if it's in, you know, like your um, your bank account statements and things of that nature. So yeah, you just want to go through and then for the second property, I do repairs, repairing labor taxes, water, and I do all of the expenses concerning those properties and whatever was concerning those properties in particular. And then, um, you know, I do any business meals, travel mileage, um, any other software, um, office supplies like paper, pens, postage, anything like that. Um, cell phone, cell phone accessories, printed paper, rent, uh, duplex the water because both properties we actually pay the water and the duplex the meter is not split so we are responsible for paying the water because technically the tenants can't split it because the water meter is not split so to keep that nice and clean and legal we just go ahead and cover that expense out of their rents and you know you have here uh, electric um, renters insurance internet etc now because we have a home business some of these things are tax deductible you can go over that with your tax preparer so yes portion of your rent your cell phone bill your cell phone accessories um your electric bill uh the renter's insurance that we pay here all of those things internet those things are tax deductible uh, or a portion of it is anyway because we do run a home business we run our businesses out of our home now the re now we we got married and we combined our lives so the reason this is here twice is because last year we technically had two home um offices because you know his business was being run out of his place and the business that i have was being run out of this place but in 2023 this all is going to go away because we are only have one home business now so the tax preparer will decide okay you know if it's a combined home office or however is going to work out best as far as the tax return is concerned okay so all of this right here for 2023 is going to go because we only have one home office this year so see every year um things aren't going to be the same which is great about you know having an excel spreadsheet because you can change it and as you can see you can have your sheet one two and three and you can keep track of them all and have a comparison if you want so you can have your 2022 your 2023 and 2024 or however you want to do it and have it all in one place you can go back and compare or whatever it is you need to do or you know be able to reference okay and so down at the bottom, this, these are not expenses, but I do this just to have a, a reference point. I go in and I also put in, you know, what the rental income was for that year um, for the properties the um, and, and the other little um, things that I do out of this particular uh, sole proprietorship, okay, because it covers a couple different things. So for business number two, these two businesses we, we started this year and these were some of the expenses that we had this year. Some of them I've already taken out because it's for 2023 and this is not the 2022 um, expense uh, sheet anymore. So some of it, a lot of it is actually gone. Things like the business meals because I don't know what they're going to be yet, but um, I put them further down. But I'm just going to cop, uh, cut and copy all that and put it back at the top up there. So, yeah, with the Excel spreadsheets, you know, they're very easy. You don't have a whole lot of writing and erasing and doing that because it's already here. It's easy, you know, and nice and neat. Um, you can make your changes and, you know, go back and forth in there. Now, me, I'm a bit, I like to be nice and tidy and neat. So, um, you know, if think if I have duplicates, I I like to just have it the same across the board. And what I mean by that is, um, if it's something that's going to be the same 
in uh, two or three different columns. I like to have them all on the same line. So that makes it easier to see as well. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. You're, you're seeing what I'm, I'm doing right here. Um, I am just, you know, making sure that things are on the same line if it is, um, if it is the same. So I'm just going to copy this and go ahead and put it on this line because all of these businesses are going to have these things. Um, all of these are going to have these things. It's going to have business meals uh, or meetings, and it's also going to have travel, mileage, and gas, all of these. So I like to have them all on the same line, okay? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, like I said, I like to have things on the same line. So um, a pair, I should go ahead and put legal on this line so everything's the same. Um, but yeah, for the businesses, you're going to have, especially LLCs, you're going to have um, your annual reports that you're going to have to file. So each state is different and the cost is different that's associated with it. But I already know we're going to have uh, the uh, Secretary of State annual fees because we have to, you know, um, submit those annual reports so you're going to put your costs here i think in in north carolina is 200 dollars, and i already know that so i'm just going to go ahead and put that there if anything fluctuates or changes or if there's any taxes associated with it i'll go ahead and add that and make it exactly what it is uh, there at a later time i already know we're going to have postage we're going to be mailing things etc we have i postal accounts for um these two so they have virtual addresses so, you know, I already know that there's going to be fees associated with that, but I don't know the exact dollar amount until the end of the year. And I can, you know, add all 12 months up together and then anything legal, you know, I'd put that expense here, etc. So, yeah, that's just something that I wanted to show you um, that is easy to do, makes your life easy. Um, if you don't have um, a software or app that you have or that you have to pay for this is something that's free it's um it's very easy to do like i said it's um not time consuming at all especially if you just do it throughout the year then it'll be something that you do not even have to deal with at the end of the year you have everything already plugged in and you can choose to print it or you can just choose to email it to your tax preparer and it just makes life so much easier so I hope that this was extremely helpful to you all. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them below and I'll be more than happy to con, um, you know, get in contact with you about that. But be blessed and have a happy tax preparation season.